Pope Francis reminds the faithful that we are all called to be missionaries. The Holy Father made the remarks late last week while meeting with members of the Spanish Bishops' Conference in a group called Mission America. Pope Francis says Jesus was sent by the Father, and now he sends us. And joining us now from London is Maria de Juan Alvarez, volunteer at Misión América. Can you tell us more about this audience that you had with Pope Francis and what the Holy Father said to you? Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm still so excited. It was <laughs> an incredible gift uh, we got from our 30th anniversary of Misión América. Our director just requested this private audience, and we were over the moon when we when we had the opportunity to, to meet him. So. We were with the Holy Father on Saturday, and we we found someone very close, very down to earth. Uh, he spoke to us about like so many things, you know, like he speaks so plainly but so deeply at the same time that there are so many ideas. But um, I think uh, what struck me the most was his uh, support for the missionary work. So he was uh, thanking us for our work, but it, it's it's just the missionaries who are like the the heroes here and uh, how they go out into the world uh, with uh, this uh, great work. So he was uh, very supportive with the volunteers also, speaking about the active volunteering, which I think it's super important uh, as a, an organization like uh, just formed by mostly volunteers. I think we, we appreciated that a lot. And even if, if we sometimes think that it was just a small contribution because we are a very small organization, he was uh, telling us how important like small things were and that they, these are the things that they last. So it's not sometimes about big gestures, but small work uh, that makes a difference. So it was really encouraging and, and really supportive of the missionaries and, and the volunteer work. Oh, I tell you what, the volunteer work that your organization is doing uh, is extraordinary. You know, you mainly focus on the development of countries in Latin America and Africa, but can you tell us more about Misión América and how it works in these places? Sure. Um, to be honest, we have the support of the missionaries out here, like from the distance. We try to help them, like, uh, to support their communities. So they, they are the ones kind of doing most of the work. But uh, we are trying to help them get all the resources they need. So especially, like, um, supporting vulnerable communities like uh, women, and uh, elderly people, and also trying to raise awareness of how the situations are in many places where it seems like so, so remote that nobody knows what is happening and they need some help. But um, we, I remember like one of the first jobs I think I, I did for, a, for Mission America was working with one of our Spanish missionaries, uh, Sister Victoria in Cameroon. And it was, she was trying to put together a computer room for a school of uh, pygmy uh, girls who are one of the most discriminated communities in, in Cameroon, so they don't have access to education or anything like that. So uh, it was working with her to kind of uh, put together a report and approach different institutions to, to get the funds, and we made it. So, I mean, it was uh, just working the, the two of us together like, uh, to, to get this, uh, this kind of resources for the, for the ping me girls, and now they have like a, a computer room like with uh, 12 uh, PCs and desks and uh, a wow. kind of electricity generator so they can kind of really learn. Well, I tell you what, you are truly doing the work, uh, the hands and feet of Jesus out there and helping the people. And uh, Maria de Juan uh, Alvarez, volunteer at Misión America, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, uh, Eric, for your time.